Good evening, everyone. It's Melissa Jane back again for Lotta Hill TV, where we share only positive news. It's going to be a incredible show. We got so much content tonight. We got to get through it all. Let's go. Welcome everyone to Lauder Hill TV. I am your host and the founder of Lauder Hill TV. And what do we do here? We only spread positive news. Positivity. That's what we're all about here. Come on in, get settled down. We are uh, we're in for a great show tonight. We've got a lot of great things to share with you. And I know you're going to have a great time. Who's here? Who's here? Welcome. I want to go, says David Reese. Welcome to the show, David. Good to have you nice and early. You're the first one here. David Reese is here. Good to have you. Facebook group. Good evening. Uh, Facebook user. I'm not sure who you are. So come on over to YouTube and we can find out who you are or just put your name in the chat so we can welcome you in fine style. We're not going to be hanging around tonight with too much, too much chitter chatter because we've got so many things for you. Just drop in LTV Nation. That's a lot of Hill TV Nation. That's who you guys are. You are the nation of a lot of Hill and you are here to support, which is awesome. So I encourage you to subscribe, like and share so that we can get more words out about the channel. Um, great things are happening. I just literally 10 minutes ago just got back from one of the communities, the HOAs in Lauder Hill, the West Kenlock um, HOA. And uh, thank you to Miss Cooper for allowing me to make a presentation, telling everybody all about Lauder Hill TV, what we have to offer and how we can enhance what you guys are already doing, because they, trust me, they do amazing things over at West Kenlark. They do fitness, they do games, they do parties, they do so many great things over there. So come on in and get settled in. Drop me, drop me, and just drop me something in the chat so I know you're here, man. Let me feel welcome as well. Let me feel welcome too. Uh, Marcia's here. Welcome. Good night to you all. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right, we are going to just show you a few things before we have our first guest come up, and then, and let me just um, let me just say we're going to have a first guest is going to be Julia Lewis Span, so and then the second guest is going to be Dr. Tashan Phillips. All right, the first guest is going to be uh, Julia Lewis Span, and the second is going to be Dr. Tashan Phillip. All right, so um, who's here? Who's here? Um, Facebook, if you're if you're saying I'm here, you're a Facebook user, you need to put your name in because I can't see your name. You have to come over to YouTube so I can see your name. Montgomery Lewis, welcome, Montgomery Lewis. Good night. Good, good to have you. And again, David Reese, we love you, Melissa. We love you back, David Reese. We love you back. All right. So my first piece of uh, information tonight is about an event that's coming up literally in a couple of days. So tune in for this. Hello. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Miss Jane. I am so excited to share this wonderful news. I am a proud member of the Brown County Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I am also the chairperson of the College and Career Fair this year. This year, we will be hosting our annual College and Career Fair at Boyd Anderson High School in their gymnasium on Saturday, April 13th from 1 to 3 p.m. We are inviting all of your high school students, even middle schoolers, they can come out because they can get that head start on getting this information. We have some wonderful colleges, universities, technical colleges as well. We also have uh, armed forces, 
Job Corps for those students who may not be looking into going to college, but maybe they want to look into other avenues. Um, so there will be a variety of information that will be shared. We will also have the United Negro College Fund, UNCF, so there will be someone represented there. It will be a wonderful event. It will be lots of fun, very informative, and you don't want to miss it. I hope to see you there. Again, it will be Saturday, April 13th, 1 to 3 p.m. at Boyd Anderson, or BA, in their gymnasium. See you soon. Yes, indeed. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. A lot of things are happening this weekend. Welcome to you all who, who's just joined while we were playing that. Let's see. Millicent Fuller is here. Uh, hey, hi to you as well. Adora West. Good, good evening, Adora. I'm looking forward to what we're going to be doing with you soon as well. All right. We're going to take a quick commercial break. It's literally only 30 or 40 minutes, so don't go too far. The Law Office of Tamar Hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence, specializing in real estate title and closing services, wills, trust, and probate. Your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us. Choose the Law Office of Tamar Hamilton. Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauderhill TV. Email support at LauderhillTV.com for the details. Yes, indeed. You can advertise right here on Lauder Hill TV and we play your commercial a lot. You'll see. All right. We have um, uh, a lot of people in here. Good to have you all. Welcome to the show. Please do do us a little favor and share the post. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like the post and share so that we can get the word out to more people so that when people come on here, it's actually reaching a lot more people than uh, than it would. All right, so we are going to go ahead and have our first guest come up. Um, Julia, can you come on to screen for me so I can see you? Come on to screen, Julia. And um, all right, okay, looks like that is not happening. All right, we are going to just roll straight over to Dr. Tashan Phillips, and we're going to take you right now. Good evening, Dr. Tashan. How are you doing? Good evening. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you. It's been a while. It has been a while. <laughs> likewise. So tell us, um, for those who I have some new members and new followers since uh, we've last spoken, introduce yourself to everybody to start. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Um, I am Dr. Tishan Phillip. I am the founder and president of the I Am Hope Foundation, our mission is to restore hope in every nation, both domestically and internationally. Our goal is to ensure that no child goes, goes to sleep hungry, especially within our communities within um, Africa. Yes, and you've been doing this for quite a while now. I've been following what you've been doing. Can you just give us a little brief history of how you got started and where you are today? Absolutely. Um, you know, I don't believe that anything happens by chance, right? And now I, this is definitely my God-given purpose here on earth. Um, I started doing empowerment seminars because um, I believe that it's so important for us to be able to heal, right? Whenever we, we, we go through our life circumstances and to set out a goal to help other people. So I started doing empowerment seminars here um, domestically and then in the Caribbean. And we did um, one, a youth seminar on the island of Nevis. And um, after returning from the, the youth seminar, we posted on Facebook, you know, lovely Facebook, um, <laughs> where should we go next? You know, we had such a huge success there. Where should we go next? And um, someone wrote Africa and um, someone from Africa, specifically Kenya, a lady reached out and she was she said, you know, I would love for your team to visit. We have such a huge challenge with the young ladies there in Kenya that whenever they're on their menstrual, they um, they miss school one week per month whenever they're on their menstrual because they do not have sanitary napkins or the adequate resources. Um, so I knew then that 
we had to do something. So I reached out to my team and I said, how do you guys feel about going to Africa? And I knew that this was God because knowing that I have never been there, they said, absolutely, we're going to follow you. So um, it was 10 of us that we actually went over to Kenya with the goal of providing sanitary napkins to these young ladies. Um, also, um, we were told that um, the children, they do not have adequate shoes. Um, the they do not have closed toe shoes. So whenever they're outside um, playing, the worms from the ground goes up into their feet oh. and it infects them. So our babies there were dying oh. because they did not have adequate shoes. So we packed up 20 suitcases with sanitary napkins and tennis shoes. Um, and we traveled over to Africa in 2017. Um, we visited three schools while we were there. And then when we came upon our last school, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, we're just providing them with resources and that's it. We're returning mm -hmm. to the United States. But that wasn't the case. Um, mm -hmm. The principal brought, brought me a bottle of water, gave me a bottle of water. And um, I said, you know what? No, let me just give it to one of the kids. And the, in that moment, that one child called like five of his friends over and shared that one bottle of oh. water. And it was in that moment that I realized that that assignment was so much greater than us just uh -huh. providing resources. It was like a lifelong commitment. And we have been working with the school there ever since. What I really love about what you do is that because I've been following you for several years, I can see the progression. Because sometimes, you know, you don't know where the funds go when you do these fundraisers. You're not, you're not mm -hmm. absolutely sure. You know, of course, you, you, you want to trust the people that are doing what they say they're doing. But you always give us proof. You, you, you show us the video and the, the, the uh, pictures of the projects that you're doing. So, for example, tell us a little bit about the school that you're building. And then we're going to talk about what this fundraiser is coming up. That you're Absolutely. Going to you know, I'm glad that you mentioned the, the transparency, right? Because transparency is important, especially when people are donating their funds. Right. Times are hard. Times are very hard. And my word is my bond. So if I'm asking Absolutely. for you to support, then it's definitely you must see where your money, your funds are going, your resources. So when we we adopted the school in Kenya, it's called the Kerumata Primary School. The school is located out in the slums outside of Nairobi. And when we got there, the school was in deplorable conditions. There were um, the flooring was just dirt. The roofs had so many different holes in it, and there's no classroom furnitures. So whenever it rains, the kids would literally be sitting in mud. Mm. trying to learn. Mm -hmm. um, so we have made some significant progress at the school since we started. We um, first, we paved the floors so they no longer sit in the same dirt that's infecting them, mm. right? So we paved the floors, then we plastered the walls because the walls were made out of um, like a hard clay. We mm -hmm. plastered the walls, then we tiled the floors. We tile mm -hmm. the floors. The principal said to us um, on one visit, because we visit every year, that the school looks smart. Having the, <laughs> the floors tiled, the school looks smart. We started um, repairing the roof. Um, and then last year, we did um, every year, a, one of the, whatever project that we are working on is significant. Mm -hmm. But last year, I think, was most significant because in all of the years in that village, um, that village has never had access to clean drinking water. Wow. So they would have to walk. The kids would have to walk to another village with their buckets and, you know, to get water. And we were able to raise enough funds to drill 165 feet below ground level wow. until we um, access water. And um, that was such a blessing because now they have they have water, they'll be able to grow their own crops. And it's a game changer for that village. I love it's gonna that. save a lot of lives. That's amazing. So let's go to why what you are doing now, because it's always something good. And that's what Lotte Hill TV is all about. You're a Lotte Hill resident and you're doing good here and, and abroad. Tell us, what is the event coming up? Yes, this Saturday, we are hosting the first Miss Hope International pageant. 
this is not like the regular Miss USA or Miss America pageant. It's not the traditional beauty pageant. It's a humanitarian pageant. Okay. This pageant, yes, this pageant is to bring awareness to the humanitarian need around the world. So I'm excited about the four young ladies that's going to be competing for the first ever Miss Hope International. And the winner will travel with us to Africa in July. Um, of this year to represent the organization. Well, that's incredible. Tell us where it is and how people can um, get their tickets. The pageant will be located um, will be located in Lauder Hill at the um, Castle Garden. The address is 4815 Northwest 22nd Avenue. The pageant actually starts at 5 p.m., not 3 p.m. So that has okay. been changed. So the pageant starts at 5 p.m. And okay. tickets can be purchased um, online via Eventbrite. It's Miss Hope International 2024.eventbrite.com. It's $25 um, online, $25 in advance, but at the door, it will be 30 At the oh. door, it's 30 So purchase your tickets in advance. Okay, I am going to drop in the I Am Hope website, and I'm sure you can get the tickets via going there, right? Is that right? It's actually, uh, no, it's, it's not on the website. It's on Eventbrite, only Eventbrite, so we can drop the Eventbrite link. All right. If you can, if you if you um I don't know if you can use the private the private chat. If you can send yes. that to me in the private chat, then we could drop that in. But um. It's incredible because, like I said, I've been following your journey. I see the work you do. Um, you've won awards. You've been, you've been, you've received recognition for all the work that you're you're doing. Um, because it's not just any small thing, and, and people really pay attention to what you what you are doing. Could you just talk on that a little bit? You know, um, I don't realize in the moment. You know what that is such a huge thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I really don't realize that it's such a huge thing that I'm doing. I just know that there is a need. And um, my duty here on earth is to try to fulfill that need. Mm -hmm. um, ever since I realized what my purpose is. Sometimes when God gives me an assignment, I'm like, God, how am I supposed to get that? How am I supposed to accomplish, accomplish such a huge assignment, especially when we did the, the well, I'm like, that is, that's a big assignment. How are we supposed to get that done? And um, everything just aligned. So, you know, I'm grateful for every award, every accolade. But I think for me, the greatest reward is knowing that so many lives have been impacted, knowing that so many lives have been, um, will be saved um, as a result of just having water. During mm -hmm. COVID, um, actually not necessarily during COVID, since we adopted the school in 2017, I think 13 students have passed away. Oh, We've lost 13 extreme. students, not necessarily during the COVID era, but mm -hmm. because of malnutrition, not having um, access to clean drinking water so we can, they can wash their hands and um, just oh, to have a healthy, a healthy lifestyle. So I knew that ensuring that they have access to water was important. The next project that we are working on, and the goal is to have this completed before our next trip in July, is to build restrooms. Mm -hmm. And I know that that might seem like, oh, it's minor. Like, wh why do we need to build restrooms? And it's because they don't have any. Yes. Um, and the young ladies there have no idea that they're supposed to sit when they are using the restroom. So they, they oh. just stand over, wow. a hole, over a hole in the ground and yes. use the restroom. So the education piece and hygiene is important. Right. So I'm having a little trouble um, copying that link. Uh, oh, is this one, is this better? Let me just try this one now. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the one. Here we go, here we go. That's a shorter link. Um, Dr. Tashan, you um, are a remarkable lady. I, I really admire what you do. You, you're just a, 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 a gift from God. I want to thank you for spending the time tonight and also inviting me. What did you invite me to do for this weekend? 
<laughs> I am so excited. You, were, I, you know what? You were my number one pick. I, I could not have thought of anyone else that's more <laughs> suitable for this. You know, you have been such a huge supporter of I Am Hope. I love your personality. You know, you're just so vibrant, a woman of class and excellence and everything that the foundation represents. So we are excited um, for you to be a part of the pageant this weekend and interviewing the young ladies during the onstage interview segment at the pageant. I so I, I am it. excited for you to bring that flair and that personality on the stage on Saturday. Absolutely. And I'm honored that you asked me and I'll be there absolutely to help out. So let's just tell everybody once again where it is and what, what uh, the time is. One more time. Thank you. It is at Castle Gardens. The address is 4850 Northwest 22nd Court in Lauder Hill. And um, it's, the pageant starts at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. this on Saturday lot of hill in castle gardens it's a community center 48 right. northwest 22nd court in lot of hill all right again thank you so much dr tashan and uh, i will see you on saturday yes, and thank i'm you. sure we'll be having you again on the show to keep us and give us an update oh real quick real quick what are the funds in particular is, uh, is it specifically raising funds for a particular project this 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 event yes the funds for this specific you know we are we always raising funds for for a project so thank you for right. mentioning that all right. of the proceeds from this project will go towards us raising funds for building restrooms in oh Kenya. the restrooms sorry the you restrooms, did say that, that project that project to build three okay. units in kenya is approximately almost ten thousand dollars all right perfect we're gonna make it you got to make, of course you'll make it. make it. And guys, I, I have dropped the uh, I Am Hope website. Go check that out. Go and see the progress. Go and see all the projects that they're working on and the transparency. It's all there. You see the, the, the before, the afters and the during and all the people that are involved. And Dr. Chashan, when, when we first spoke, she was not a doctor and she achieved her doctorate <laughs> in that time. So she's been very, very busy and very, very active. Yes. And you are amazing. So God bless you. you. God bless all, your, all you do. Thank you. And thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you. We thank appreciate you. it. All right. Bye, Have a guys. good night. Keep on sharing. <laughs> all right, guys. That is our first guest out. Uh, Don, we have a lot to share with you tonight. And of course, we don't want to miss out anything because everything is so wonderful. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to show you something that happened on Monday. The Law Office of Tamar Hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence. Specializing in real estate title and closing services, wills, trust, and probate. Your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us. Choose the Law Office of Tamar Hamilton. Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauderhill TV. Email support at lauderhilltv.com for the details. All right, welcome back, everyone. We have quite a few things for you tonight. And um, on Monday, at the city at the city commission meeting, do you guys attend? Just drop me a number one if you attend the Lauder Hill City Commission meetings. This week's was really, really uh, amazing. There were so many different um, wonderful things that they highlighted on Monday. So I, I just want to bring you just a little snippet of what happened. And here is one of the items, which was the Lauder Hill Home of the Month. A presentation of Home of the Month requested by Commissioner Saray Martin. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, every month we select a home. We're going to ask our select team committee, Coldwell Banker Broker, Ms. Sharon McLennan and Ms. Alicia to provide the presentation for us. Good evening, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Vice Mayor, Commissioners, City Manager, congratulations on your recognition and City Attorney. It is always a pleasure to stand before the Commission and today again, we have an opportunity to recognize a lot of Hill homeowner. As the Commission knows, this initiative has come out of a desire to help promote civic pride and engagement throughout the City of Lauder Hill. And we're really happy this is our fourth month recognizing a homeowner and today, I think we have a slide somewhere, and I promise we're going to do our part to keep you under five minutes. I know that's a small thing in light of the fact that we're here so long, but we're not going to stay beyond our time. But today we're going to be recognizing Mr. Rafael Hernandez 
at 7501 Northwest 35th Court. Mr. Hernandez, can you come forth? And I think we have an image of his home. If we could just go through the slides to show that. Beautiful. So this is what we're looking to promote in the city of Lauderhill. This, this level of, of superior maintenance and engagement, this is what we want all of our homes to look like. And we're just really pleased and proud to be able to come in Mr. Hernandez for the work that he has done. And we'd like to ask the commission to recognize him. And um, we are presenting him with a certificate as well as a gift card from those as a recognition for his work. Thank you. Thank you, commission. We appreciate it. And as, as Vice Mayor Martin said, these are the stories that don't make the news, so please share it. I'm a little bit disappointed that by the time we got here, the standing room only crowd was gone, but please, uh, Commission, continue to promote the program. We would like to see more people submit their property for consideration because we believe that that is a level of the engagement and the civic pride that we're looking to be able to cultivate. So thank you. All right, so that was a real quick one. Um, uh, that, was, that happened at the Commission meeting this week, and they do a Home of the Month each month so congratulations to the winner there and if you want to if you have a beautiful home or you know that some somebody that has a beautiful home in the city of Lauder Hill you can submit that and here is the the website um, I'm going to drop that in the chat for you and then I need to welcome a few more people it's uh, Lauder Hill home of the month.com and it's in the chat room right there all right who just joined us Good evening, Tina Azell. Good to have you and happy, uh, hope you're doing well. I think, did you celebrate an anniversary recently? Welcome to Highvale, Ferguson Davies. Good to have you. Uh, welcome to Samantha Sukraj, also was at the city chamber meeting presenting what she's doing. She has a conference coming up in, um, I think it's June, so I'm sure we'll have her on the show closer to the date. Dr. Nadia Asad is here. Uh, Bath Fountain said, Thomas, uh, blessings, uh, blessings to you all. Um, so, uh, Julia, you may have to come out and come back in, all right? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So I did speed up that presentation, so it was fast, <laughs> as you can see. Manny, uh, Manny Dutcher. All right, I'm not very good at the names that I haven't seen before. Chatella, okay, something like that. Um, to Sam Phillips again, thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Uh, yes, says Tina Zell. All right, so if you want to submit, Fantasy Folly is here. Welcome, Fantasy Folly, blessings, um, and welcome to all uh, LTV Nation. Drop in at LTV Nation in the chat, guys. Hashtag LTV Nation stands for Lauder Hill TV Nation. That's who you guys are. And you guys all support the channel. So how's everybody feeling tonight? How's everybody feeling? So I have a lot, like I said, I have a lot to share with you. I'd like to share you with you another thing that happened while we're waiting for another guest, to, our other guest to come in. Let's have the SDA activities.
Thank you to Shelley for sending the Lord Hill Seventh-day Adventist announcements and the activities every single week. We appreciate the content. And again, guys, if you have something going on in your church, your organization, and you want people to hear about it, you can just send it through. Um, send it to, let me give you a slide here. Send it to um, the email listed here at the bottom, support at lordhilltv.com support at lordhilltv.com and we will uh, we'll share it for you all right i want to i want to say a big thank you while you guys are here and you're all you know actively participating in the chat i want to thank you for tuning in every single week and really supporting the channel sometimes it gets discouraging when you know things don't always go your way but you know what we have 17 people in the chat right now i gotta be thankful for 17 people you could be doing anything so i thank you i appreciate you keep on sharing keep on letting people know about lord of hill tv eventually people are going to realize what a gold mine a gold mine this is all right so um we have people that are supporting and i'm thankful for that as well all right so before we go to our guest um, let us take another little detour and give you the Tamar, the attorney Tamar segment of the week. Each week we give you a little segment that she has prepared for us and she's given us some education about the law. All right. So here is the next installment of attorney Tamar Hamilton's piece. This segment is sponsored and produced by Tamar and Hamilton PA. This is our series on powers of attorney, right? And you'll recall we left off, we've covered the legal requirements. We've covered who you can give power. You can give it to one or more persons, which is highly recommended. Now let's delve into the types of power of attorney. I stated before, ink is cheap, litigation is expensive you can title your power of attorney in a very specific way or you can be general now the most general type of power of attorney that you'll find is the durable power of attorney and as the word durable right a play on words durable it's lasting and it's it has the most enumerated types of power so we're not, I'm not going to get into the types of power and that durable power of attorney yet because that's going to take up some time, but it's going to be important that we cover those. So stay with me. So we have the durable type power of attorney gives you everything, covers everything, most long lasting. And then we have the specific type of power of attorney. And I'm going to share an example with you. I recently received a call from a high school and a teacher had shared my number with a parent whose child fell sick while they were in school and was taken to the hospital. When the parent got the call and she asked, so what happened? They said, unfortunately, he's already 18 and we don't have anything on record authorizing us to give you any information about the medical status of the student. So parent, stay tuned to this. this. This is very specific for you. This was the high school. Uh, my daughter was there and so they, they had my information. And this mom called panicking. The ambulance was off with her son. No one was willing to give her medical information because at 18, they considered him an adult. Now this is where we need a specific power of attorney. And this would be educational and medical. So you can have a, a power of attorney, for example, in this case, and immediately after that, I had my daughter. As soon as she turned 18, I had her grand power of attorney to her parents over her educational and medical matters. And lo and behold, she went to college. There was a situation and she wanted me to intervene and of course, they asked for a copy of that document and I had it ready to go. 
So that's the educational or medical power of attorney talking about specific power of attorney. Stay tuned for more. This segment was sponsored and produced by Tamar in Hamilton, PA. That's right. It's sponsored and produced by our very own Tamar Hamilton. We're going to take a little break. When we come back, we're going to give you great, more great content. And just drop me a number one in the chat if you're enjoying the show so far. All right, don't go too far. The Law Office of Tamar Hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence, specializing in real estate title and closing services, wills, trust, and probate. Your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us. Choose the Law Office of Tamar Hamilton. Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauderhill TV. Email support at LauderhillTV.com for the details. All right. Like I said, we have a lot to share with you tonight. Welcome, welcome, everyone. If you've tuned in, just drop me a number one in the chat so I can see you are here with us. What is David saying? You are right about the gold mine. Yes. Um, I don't know if people realize it just yet, but once this blows up, then the people are going to be all clamoring to be on the show. And I'm going to be saying, well, you could come on in like three months time. So <laughs> get it while it's hot, guys. Get it while it's hot. All right. Um, let's go on to another piece right now. I want to make sure that our second guest has her camera all in order. Um, we, you know, we want to make sure that it's all in order before I bring her up. I want her. I want her to have it in in the best possible way. So, all uh, on Monday, also there was an event, a welcome home, um, a welcome home reception for Senator Osgood and Representative State Representative Dunkley and Campbell, and it was held at the Lauder Hill City Hall. And I was there, Lauder Hill was on the scene to capture some, you know, some great information. And they, were ha we ha they had a reception and then, the ne the ne then they made a, pre a presentation. They had the reception for those three candidates and sorry, not candidates, those three people in office. <laughs> Uh, the senator, state senator Osgood and Campbell, as well as representatives Campbell and representative. Um, uh, uh, I'm going to I'm going to share the slide so that you can see who they are. I'm, make, I'm messing up the names terribly here. So it was senator uh, senator Osgood, state senator Osgood, um, state representative Campbell and State Representative Dunkley. They were, they came home after spending so much time in Tallahassee on our behalf. And they did a lot of work in Tallahassee and they came back to report what they have been doing. So this is a, just a quick um, slideshow that shows these are two other supporters that work with them. Um, and you can see the names right there. But they told us about the amount of money that has been raised. Lord of Hill Fire, Lord of Hill Resource Access Program, $256,000 was awarded to the city of Lord of Hill for the Lord of Hill Resource Access Program. Shot Spotter Gunshot Detection Program, $356,000 was awarded to the city of Lord of Hill. Southeast Water Service Project, $250,000 was awarded to the city of Lauder Hill to make those repairs. Lift station 15, $431,000 was awarded to the city of Lauder Hill. Lime Hill water main replacement, $271,000 was awarded to the city of Lauder Hill. And lift station 25, $750,000 $750, 
was awarded to the city of Lauder Hill. In total, a grand total of $2,316,000 was awarded to the city of Lauder Hill. That's a big deal, guys. That's a big deal. We want to thank our, um, our senator and state representatives for all the hard work, the city of Lauder Hill, all the commissioners, the mayor, and everybody, the city manager, um, communications, Leslie, all of the city workers that helped to make this possible. We are proud of you. We thank you. And like I said, I was there at the reception, and I just wanted to bring you a little bit of the reception that was held um, as the senator um, addresses the addresses. The, uh, the at the reception. Uh, David Reese, I am having that same issue on my podcast. Oh, yes, indeed. It's it's tough, guys. Um, Facebook user says, hi, everyone. Please, please put your name because we can't see who you are. It just shows us Facebook user, but I'm happy that you're here. All right. we uh, I want to show you the video from Senator Osgood, right now, it's just about three, almost four minutes. So bear with us as we share you this little piece, okay? It's such a great job for us. Um, Senator Osgood is a distinguished member of the Florida State Senate. She is president of the, and CEO of the nonprofit Mount Olive, Olive Development Corporation and has served Brow on the Broward County School Board for a decade. She is a fighter, a tireless advocate. She's a transformational leader. She is also the first female pastor, of associate pastor of the New Mount Olive Baptist Church. It's a lot of hats she wears, but she wears them well. She's also a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority and a member of the Lynx. So without further ado, I bring you none other than the sensational senator from District Thank you to our esteemed city manager, Desiree, and thank you guys for having this this afternoon. As I was listening, um, Tallahassee is no joke. Um, you know, your representatives come and they do a very, very good job, but it's a lot of work and a lot of hours behind the scenes. I am so fortunate that I have some remarkable legislators that represent the same district that I represent. I think they represent about 140,000 people, and I represent 503,000 people. So I love you so much that I do strange things in Tallahassee. I do <laughs> prayer groups that are not a part of my political party. I spend a lot of time on other floors talking and telling people about you. But I am so grateful for this opportunity to serve and hopefully over the next couple of weeks that we won't get vetoed, that we'll get our money back to the district to be able to meet your needs. And I am committed to working even harder next legislative session with all of your help, your emails and phone calls. We have to engage Tallahassee as a community. Your elected local representatives do an excellent job. They come up, they meet, and then myself and the representatives take it from there. But I can tell you, your emails and your involvement will help lift our voice even higher. I am still uh, a believer in democracy. I still believe in diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I will continue to fight for that as long as you give me the opportunity to do so. I will close by saying that Lauder Hill helps me a lot. Because when your electeds come, they know the projects, they know the budgets, they know the information, and the more they educate me as your senator, then I can take the ball and run with it in Tallahassee. So thank you to the city for this event this afternoon. A lot of times as legislators, you don't get the thank yous. You don't get to connect with the community in this way. Most of the time you just get the lies that the media and the stuff that people make up on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. So I just really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate this. 
I have another event. Um, I'm having a life moment today. I had a pastor friend of mine murdered by a musician that I know. So my disposition is not that I'm unhappy. I'm just really burdened in my heart today. And we have to work as a community to take mental health seriously. Because it's good. Wow, very, very powerful, powerful lady. She is our state senator, and it was just amazing having her in the building and all the rest of the 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 um the representatives. We're gonna take a little break when we come back. We're gonna show you the other two representatives that were there, and um we'll hear a word from those two. Don't go too far. The Law Office of Tamar Hamilton stands as a beacon of legal service excellence, specializing in real estate title and closing services, wills, trust, and probate. Your dreams and rights are more than just cases to us. Choose the Law Office of Tamar Hamilton. Call 954-507-4757 or visit TamarHamiltonLaw.com. Reach your target audience by advertising on Lauderhill TV. Email support at lauderhilltv.com for the details. Welcome back, everyone. Are you are you guys enjoying the show tonight? Just drop me a uh, a number two, a number two in the chat if you're still enjoying the show. So sorry, so sorry that we have so much good stuff for you. No, I'm not really sorry. <laughs> I'm actually very, very excited that we have so much good content for you. We're going to have another little um, piece from one of our state representatives, Lisa Dunkley, and then we're going to come back with more. Um, next, we have Representative Lisa Dunkley. Representative Dunkley was raised in Jamaica and moved here about 25 years ago. And now she's a state representative for District 97. Another thing I, I did not know about Representative Dunkley is that she's a veteran. She served in Operation Enduring Freedom and Iraq. She is, um, again, a tireless advocate for her community. She takes everything we bring her seriously. She calls us, she checks, she makes sure, and we so much appreciate that. Um, we could not have somebody better fighting for us in District 97. So I bring you none other than the dynamic representative, Lisa Dunkley. <laughs> Thank you, city manager. Good evening, everyone, and to all the elected, wonderful elected officials here in the city of Lauder Hill. I, you know, I, I Lauder Hill is a love city for me as well because many years ago I lived in the city, but I migrated. <laughs> but thank you so much. Um, I want to say also to the legislative team that supports what we do in Tallahassee. Um, they are very responsive. I'm pretty sure at 7 p.m. on some night, city manager, Latoya, I'm like, Pharaoh, can you text Latoya? And Latoya is going to respond. And as a result, that is why you're getting the result that you have, is because of those. And my colleagues, Rep Campbell and Senator Osgood, two colleagues that Rep Campbell and I are seatmates almost, and he look over and he's like, you good? I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm good. <laughs> Senator Osgood, Osgood is going to be, baby, baby, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good, Senator. But we work tirelessly, and I think we work cohesively, which is very important to know. We work cohesively to get things done. And your three representatives here, we don't just meet just because of legislative stuff. We are meeting in the prayer room we are meeting in different rooms. Only because I'm the only veteran, we're not in my veteran room. But we are we are meeting in rooms outside of 
just what we do as legislators. And I really appreciate the support that you have given us and the community. And I, you know, there are some community HOAs that I'm on a text message like, this is happening here in the city, making sure that I'm abreast of what is going on, even though I'm in Tallahassee. But thank you so much for all that you have done to support us as we are legislated and for the work that we do. And I look forward to continue working with you. And I just want to let you know as well, because I may not have that opportunity to share. And one of the things that I'm so proud of, um, I know our city has a lot of veterans, and you mentioned a veteran. Veterans are very dear to my heart. And I was very, I was almost taken aback when I was asked by the House Veterans Caucus to be the vice chair of the, the caucus, because again, we are in a majority climate, and to be asked to carry with, you know, to be able to support veterans, I was very glad for that. But thank you so much, I don't want to ramble on anymore, but I really appreciate you all. Thank you. Yes, indeed, we have to really um, thank our state representatives and our senator, state senator, because they do so much for the city of Lauder Hill. If you just joined and you missed the number of dollars that they bring to the city uh, over the last uh, few years, I think, um, it's over $2 million, and we are very, very thankful for that. We are going to have our final rep state representative, Daryl Campbell. And when we come back, we are going to have an interview that I promised you earlier. OK, let's go. Last but not, last but not least is Representative Daryl Campbell, who hails from New York and actually um, came here when he was very young. Um, through the power of God and prayer, he's a, a, a tireless advocate Born to Jamaican parents, he's grounded in his Caribbean roots of family, respect, and integrity. He has worked in many different areas, including being a, a licensed addiction therapist, which I didn't even know. So I was like, wow, that is wonderful. He understands what's going on with mental health and health issues, which a lot of cities and a lot of you may be dealing with. So we have somebody in our corner who's not just talking about it, He's actually somebody who's seen it live and on the street. So that's why he's so important in our community. And I just want to bring up the committed representative, Daryl Campbell. Well, good evening, good evening. Uh, thank you for this wonderful home welcoming. Um, you know, one of the things that we, we we see ourselves doing in Tallahassee is like we see ourselves fighting and running tirelessly for our community and trying to figure out how do we how do we do that and also making sure that our voice is heard and that we're not giving up our, our values and our morals of the city um, and so these home welcomings and just recognition go such a long way especially as we come home and try to readjust uh, to just what we missed out on life. Um, I've, I've seen so many people that, that have done so many amazing things while I've been away. And so just to come home and see this welcoming, it, it's, a, it's a pleasure. I just want to say thank you to my colleagues, Senator Osgood, Representative Dunkley. Um, we work in what we work so well together. Um, sometimes we, we, we split and figure out how do we help one another in, in each silo. Um, as Senator Osgood can attest, I'm usually at, at the senator's side, and sometimes they're telling me, like representatives are not supposed to be over here and I'm, like, and I'm like I'm like hey look look I I understand but we we, we want to make sure that uh our, the money's in and we want it whatever I can do to relieve some support and help 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 that out I, I will do and even that if that means stepping over some lines and things of that nature. Um, but you know I also want to take time to thank thank the commissioners and the legislative team for y'all efforts um, when I tell you seeing you come up to Tallahassee means the world to us um, it's it's there's no place like home and for us being away from home, we get homesick. Sometimes we get delusional and forget where, where we at from time to time. And so 
So, <laughs> so when we see you, when I see you, um, it's 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 a joy. It's a joyous occasion. It reminds me of back home. You give me a piece of back home when you come up to Tallahassee and you stop in my office. So whether you're a constituent, whether you're an elected official, whether you are a, a staff member, when I see you back and realize that you you're from home team, it, it feels good to see see that people are watching and paying attention because we're so far away. So thank you for the effort. Uh, I, I just want to put you know. Being as a social worker, one of the things that I do is I'm, I'm always trying to provide services and um, you know counseling services at, on, on top of that. And so coming back home is kind of like a rush because you're you're trying to play catch up with life and and, and your business and all of that. And so when we're when we're advocating for you guys, we we're not just advocating when we get up there. We're we've been preparing this well before we got up there. And so the preparation has already been been in been in um, been in in the fold. Uh, when we come back home, we're still working for you. Just because we're back doesn't mean we're we're done. We're still here in the, in the community providing services. So please reach out to each one of our offices because we are here providing you valuable information. Because our goals as as legislators to make sure that you win and the way you win is understanding where the goalpost has been moved from year to year so you're going to see a lot of legislator updates from each one of us please make sure you come out make sure you come out and support pass that message do what you can because we really want people to come out and receive these services and receive this news as far as how do you win in this upcoming legislature how do you win with these new laws that we put through so i really appreciate it i really thank you for your time your effort and it's so it's so great to be on uh, <laughs>
to the stage, Miss Julia Lewis Span. Um, how are you doing, dear? Let's get her audio going. Um, yes, here you go. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. The audio is not good. I know that we've been having some technical issues today. I think we're going to have to reschedule, Julia. The audio is not working today. All oh, right. So goodness. we're going to, yeah, we're going to have to reschedule. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. And I'll see you yes. next time. <laughs> all right. Yes, we're gonna see... We'll see you next time, Julia. All right. <laughs> it happens sometimes, guys. You know, we have we 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 were struggling with some technical issues that you didn't even know about, and it just mm. didn't work out. Well, we have had such a great um, full show. Um, regardless, we have had so much going on today that uh, we, we've literally just come to the nine o'clock hour anyway. We were kind of delaying a little bit of time so that we could try to get Julia in tonight, but it, uh, it, it didn't work out. So let me just welcome who is here, who just joined. Uh, Rhonda, good to have you. So sorry that you weren't able to see your friend Julia tonight. We're gonna, we wanna bring her in the best light and the best sound and the best uh, video. So that's why we're gonna push that up until the next time. So uh, Rhonda says, very interesting. This is my second visit. I, uh, I am invited by Julia Spann. My name is Rhonda uh, Ver Veras. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, but LeBlanc. I'll, I'll just say Rhonda LeBlanc. Good to have you. Really, really happy to have you. And do come back again. She says, very sad about Pastor Len Lenoir. All right. Exactly. Exactly. Who else is here? Who else is here? Um, Adora West, how did you? I, I know that Adora has, has been enjoying the show. Thank you so much. And uh, Rhonda's enjoyed it. Marcy enjoyed it. David Rees. And I saw Marcy over the weekend, too. We was hanging out at the David Jazz concert. Uh, Cheryl Cox Curry. Yay, Julia. We're going to bring Julia back another day. Thank you so much for coming to support her. Non-invasive screening. Hey, how you doing, sir? Um, she stole my thunder. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm late. No problem. Um, oh, says David. We're going to bring her back. Julia Lewis Span is the bomb. We will be bringing her back. So you can see her. Great video. You're going to hear her sounding awesome. And then you're going to see her in the best light as well. All right. And she has a really, really great, um, she has a really great background. She has really good things to talk about. And you're going to be seeing a lot more about of Julia. So guys, just drop in the chat, which part of the show you enjoyed best tonight. Just to give you a recap, we had, um, we had our guest, uh, Dr. Tashawn Phillips. She has an event coming up on uh, Saturday. And it's a humanitarian pageant. So all the, the, the ladies involved are doing great things in the humanitarian space. And um, that is a fundraiser. So we talked with her. We also had our special feature from um, Attorney Tamar. We had the Lauder Hill Seven-Day Adventist activities. We had the college fair that's coming up on Saturday too. We had the, um, home, the Lauder Hill Home of the Month. We had Senator Osgood, we had Lisa, um, Representative Lisa Dunkley, State Representative Daryl Campbell, and we had quite a few things going on. So I think you had a lot in that hour. We jam-packed it all in, and um, <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> and we are going to uh, say goodnight for now. We only went over three minutes. so. I want you to have a wonderful night. Thank you all, all again for, for tuning in. Please do remember to subscribe, like, and share. This can happen anytime. You can watch the replay at any point if you came in late. It's available right after we finish. And um, please tell somebody about it. We are doing great things. And also, like I said earlier, you might have missed it. I just came back today from a meeting with the the West Kenlark Park, uh, the West Kenlark Home Owners Association, and we're going to be doing something special with them coming up very, very soon. So thank you again to 
um, Miss uh, William A. Cooper for inviting Lord of Hill TV to make a presentation. I did that. I have it on film. And uh, thank you all of those guys for, uh, for listening attentively and welcoming Lord of Hill TV. So big things are coming. We can come to your location, do something special with you. Just, just invite us over and we'll be happy to do so in the beautiful city of Lord of Hill. But that's it. I'm Melissa Jane, Melissa Jane, the founder of Lord of Hill TV. I want to thank my guests. I want to thank um, my co-producer. I want to thank all of those who support the show. Uh, Charlie Crush just joined in. Uh, let's see, what's, what's David say? Uh, by the way, can you announce the event for our college program? I can if I had it. Let's see, do I have it? Uh, um, you got to send me these things ahead of time and let me get it in. If it hasn't already passed, send it to me and we can do it for next week. All right, so please, guys, work with me. Help me to help you. I bid you a good night. Bye for now.